and uh, welcome back. In our previous video tutorials, we reviewed together how to search the media database, how to create your list. We actually showed you how to move some contacts from uh, this list and uh, create and add them to this list and edit and manage the uh, appropriate contacts. Now, for those clients who have their own email list, we do have a function which allows you to import these contacts into your dashboard. When you import these contacts, these will be locally just private to you. Uh, no one else will have access to it, so that is uh, perfectly fine uh, for anyone who you might have concerns about um, if you import contacts, will it be shared? No, it won't be shared with anyone else uh, on the dashboard. And the great thing about it is uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, all you need to do is download this template, in which I'll download in just a few moments. And then you fill in all the pertinent information. Just to let you know that uh, we have uh, been able to import quite a number of media contacts uh, uh, per upload. Uh, I believe the, the largest uh, files or the number of records that we imported in one shot was about uh, a little over 15,000 contacts. Uh, but we can definitely, you know, handle much, much more. Uh, but we're just going to need to make sure that you have a few things in place uh, when you do the upload. So I'm just going to pause this. I'm going to download the template and open it and show you in just a few moments. Okay, thank you. I just downloaded this template CSV file and uh, here it is in Excel. Now one thing to note is that we have quite a number of different columns here to fill out. You may or may not have all this information, but what is required is the email address. Uh, the email address is required. Please be sure that all of the um, all of the email addresses, all of the email cells are filled. If you do have a blank in there, uh, it will uh, spark up an error or will cause an issue in terms of the upload. So just be sure that you have the email field always filled out. Uh, in addition to that, one thing that's always good for best practices is if you have the first name of the person, whether it's Steve or Mary, if you have their first name, that is great. Now, if you don't have their first name, a workaround or something good that you can add in is that if you have the outlet name. So, for example, if we were reaching out to uh, Variety Magazine and we don't have a particular name, you can actually use the outlet name for the first name. These two are per uh, very uh, pertinent to the upload is because when we do the email campaigns, these are the pieces of data that are most important when we send it out. You definitely want to personalize the email and you definitely want to have the email address available. Now, as for the other ones, it's great to have, but if you don't have it, don't fret. Uh, just make sure you have the emails uh, filled out. Okay, so once you save your file, um, I'm going to open up another template file just so you can take a look at it and um, review with me one moment while I pull that up. Okay, great. Uh, here an example on um, what we had done in terms of uh, the uploaded uh, feature for the template. Uh, so what you can do is uh, make sure you have the email and the first name, uh, last name, all this other, other information uh, may not be required, but as long as you have the email and the first name, uh, that is good. We're going to attempt to upload this uh, to the dashboard so you can kind of see how the upload feature works. Okay. One moment. So I'm going to click on select the CSV and I'm going to select that file that we looked at. Okay, great. So I have selected the, this CSV for film and movies in New York City. Um, I am going to click create and you can call it film movies NYC. And uh, as you can see here, we have quite a number of uh, data points that will be inserted based on the file that we had filled in previously. The next thing you want to do is click on process file and uh, it will process. So what this had done is that it imported all these contacts into the list manager. And for redundancy or for just uh, for testing purposes, um, the system automatically creates this default imported contacts list. It's essentially the same thing. We can just go ahead and just delete this and hit yes. 
And the reason why we can do that is because we already imported this context as our own list name here. All right. So if we click on this, as you can see here, we actually were able to um, import all this data and the first name, etc., of the person is available here. And this is how you would uh, import your list and you can also manage your list too. If you want to remove them from the list, just check them off and then delete them if you needed to or revise their information. So that's an easy way on how to import your lists.